Hey YouTube, good morning, and happy Sunday. Sunday morning out in the Shire Shed this morning. I said morning a lot just then. I don't care. I have not had enough coffee. So, that's where I'm at right now. Sun come up, coffee going down. Beans 316. Good old Brian Duran. Smoking what I'm dubbing the Weekend Savinelli. It's the uh, Savinelli St. Nicholas 2022 673KS. In it, I have something new that I've never had before. Um, it's quite good. Um, let me show you. Baron Golden Extra. Originally, I had thought this was more of a uh, almost like a straight Virginia with some added some added uh, components. But I've been smoking it for, oh, about five minutes now. And, uh, hmm. It seems like it's more of a, a burly with Virginia's kind of dancing around. It's really quite pleasant. Which is interesting because McBaron Blends and I typically don't get along very well. Usually they they bite me like a rattlesnake. But this, I had a good feeling about when I, uh, when I picked it up yesterday. It's, uh, you know, I'll read you the, uh, the tin description if you are otherwise unfamiliar. McBaron Golden Extra Ready Rubbed. Since Golden Blend was introduced back in 1952, it has gained many, many fans all over the world, and rightly so. The special selected brown burly tobaccos mixed with just a touch of Golden Virginia are carefully pressed and stored. The large slices are cut and partly rubbed up, which gives a cool burn. Now, the reason I thought this was the reason I initially thought this was maybe a a Virginia with some burley in it, as opposed to the other way around, was the tin note. The tin note threw me off. But... Now that I'm able to pick up the flavors, wow, it is very good. Uh, 
Uh, as I mentioned, Mac Baron and I don't typically get along too well because it bites me. I am getting a little bite on this. It's it's trying. Overall, though, I'm I'm enjoying it. Has a couple rough edges, I suppose. But overall, it's very good. Since I'm a large child, I have Hocus Pocus going in the background. The original, not the new one. I haven't seen the new one yet. And I hope you're enjoying the new angle here. Yeah, this is a good blend. This is a good blend for sure. I honestly don't know if if age would even do anything to it. But we'll find out. Uh, today's video is going to be a bit of a twofer. Uh, the wife and I went on a little field trip yesterday. down south to uh, to Strauss Tobacconist both of them uh, I had I had initially thought that the the original location was in Florence but the original location is actually in downtown Cincinnati no biggie they're 20 minutes apart so we ended up going to both of them Overall, it was a great experience. We spoke to the gentleman that was working at the Florence location. His name was Joe. He was very nice, very helpful. Uh, it was really, really great. If I'm honest, I would have thought that their inventory would have been a little bit better. But uh, I mean, otherwise, like I said, it was a it was a very good experience. Sorry, my wife's texting me again. Um, it was a great, great little spot. Um, they did have some really good blends that I wouldn't have otherwise been able to get in my local area. Um, but it was really good. Uh, I really, really enjoyed the Florence location. And then the Cincinnati location was very, very cool. Uh, their their pipe and tobacco uh, inventory wasn't um, wasn't super great either. Not not nearly as as good as I thought it was going to be, if I'm honest. Um, but I really enjoyed it. It was a good experience, and uh, it was good to see a tobacconist that has been around so long. Uh, 1880 is when I, I believe when they first opened. So, I mean, piece of American history right there in the middle of downtown Cincinnati, like in the middle of it. It was very cool. I've got some footage and I'm going to drop in right here and, uh, enjoy. 
Hey, what up, YouTube? Made a little field trip today. Came over to a uh, little place south of me. It's been around for quite some time. Never been here before. Didn't actually realize that it was so close, even though it was like an hour and a half drive. But we are here by we, I mean, my wifey's filming right now. And, uh, yeah. Show them where we is, honey. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. We're just waiting for them to open. And gonna go in and check it out. Get some video. I'm gonna try and behave myself. I have my my limiter right here who is going to help with that process we'll see how that goes I'm hoping it goes okay but I have every expectation that I'll definitely walk out with some stuff oh well, not that much of a Nazi <laughs> that's alright so yeah be right back with you here in a couple minutes or in your case, like, right. Welcome to Strauss Tobacconist in Florence, Kentucky. If you've never been here before, uh, Strauss has been around since, I believe, 1880. Uh, and this is kind of the back of the store. Got a pretty decent, uh, pretty decent selection, really. Of tobaccos. Hey, I hope you enjoyed that. That was a very good time. More, more so that what was enjoyable for me was just getting out and, you know, spending a day with my wife. Uh, she's kind of my best friend. Those are my subscribers that know us personally. You know how cool she is. I'm very relaxed this morning, people. Not sure if you could tell. Really enjoying <clears throat> this golden extra very much. Uh, you can really get a sense of the dark burlies in this. Not super complex.
little tough to get going. It doesn't take to the flame super well. On a scale of 1 to 10 for that, I'd, I'd give it like a... Like a 7. It does okay. It's quite good. I would imagine that with some age, it'll it'll get better. This tin, I believe, is from uh, November of 2020, so it's got a couple years on it. Um, it's it's definitely probably going to make it into my rotation. Which is kind of odd to say because McBaron isn't in my rotation currently at all. I don't count the HH line because I don't know. I just don't. I don't feel it's representative enough of kind of the standard McBaron blends. They kind of stand out on their own, in my opinion. And any of you that have tried any of the HH line, I'd almost guarantee that you would agree with me. Definitely picking up the the dark burly. Mm, retro hail is very nice. No tingle at all. Mm. Very good. So yeah. McBaron Golden Extra Ready Rubbed. You have yourself a tin. It sounds intriguing. You might like it. I'll be doing a uh, a special Halloween review tomorrow. So keep your eyes peeled for that. With that, I will let you all enjoy your Sundays. I'm going to enjoy the rest of this bowl and this classic Halloween movie. I hope everyone had a great weekend. And I hope everyone has a great week. Till next time. Thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Don't do anything I wouldn't do, but if you do, don't get caught. Later, taters.